back to my channel if you're new to the channel what's up what's poppin this me i'm savion for those who don't know so for today's video i am going to be giving y'all some tips and advice on how to make the dean's list for the ones who watched my previous video on how i got kicked off my college volleyball team y'all know that i went from failing classes to making the dean list this past semester my channel is all about getting better and i mean that physically mentally emotionally spiritually and yes even academically so i want us to get better together forever and ever and ever Let's just hop right into the video my first tip for making the dean's list in college would be to take late classes when i say take late classes that means do not sign up for 8 a.m's do not sign up for 9 30s unless you know you are built for that if you are not built like that take your butt to bed and stay in bed until you have to go to class see for me i thought i could do it i tried to sign up for 8 a.m a 9 30 like oh yeah i can do this i'm used to waking up early but i promise you <laughs> i promise you you're not going to want to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, 6.30 in the morning to get to class. You're not gonna wanna do it. You know how many classes I skipped just because it was too early? And I was like, uh, I don't feel like getting up. Right back to sleep. I'ma just look at the slides online and I never looked at the slides online. You know how detrimental that was to my grade point average? I schedule all of my classes now from 12.30 until like 3.30. So if I start at like 12, I finish around like four. So that way my all my classes are in this little chunk of the day. I'm not worried about anything after four or anything before 12. Before 12, I would just like go work out, get a good breakfast. I make sure I'm good for my morning. I wasn't hurrying and rushing to go to class. Like, oh, I only got my pajamas on. I gotta get to class. And then it's like, I gotta run to class. That's just too much stress too much worrying in the morning and you be forgetting things. So my advice overall, just take later classes in the day. It'll be so much easier for you. I would say schedule all of your classes no earlier than 11. That's just how I feel. And then it's like, I understand people have work and stuff later on in the day, so they gotta do the classes in the morning. Y'all got it. Y'all are built like that. Y'all are built for that. Savion, take classes that interest you. Don't sign up for biological studies of the human brain mass. If you're a communications major, why are you taking this? You don't even like this type of stuff. Try different things, try different classes, different electives, but definitely try to go into something that has something to do with what you like or what you plan on doing in the future. Because you gotta remember this is college, this is not free. You can't just be out here failing class. You can't just be out here wasting money. Definitely take classes that interest you also because when you're in a class that's interesting to you, it's so much easier to pay attention. It's so much easier to want to learn. As soon as I started taking classes, I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. It would make me want to be a better student because it's like, I like this and I want to do the best that I can in this because this is something that I'm interested in doing or interested in in general. And I get it, the biology, chemistry, all those majors, y'all have no other choice but to take these boring classes. Definitely take like an elective or something because you're still going to get your credit from the elective, but like take something that's going to be like your break from these hard classes. Or if it's like a foreign language or something and that has to be your break, make the best out of it. Don't just be like, oh, I have all these hard classes and then I have to learn a new language. Like that language might just be your break from your, your biology and your chemistry and all this other stuff. Like have fun with the breaks that you do have. Have fun with the, the classes that aren't as hard as the, these biologies and these chemistries. Get an agenda. If I did not have my agenda, I promise you, I would not even remember that I attended Georgia State University because there are so many things that you have to remember. Oh my God, I have to remember so many things. There's gonna be so much going on in college. You're not gonna remember, oh, I have homework assignment 12 due at midnight tonight. You're not thinking about that. Your teacher is gonna give you your syllabus at the beginning of the school year, you know, first day of class type feel. And on your syllabus is gonna have every due date for every assignment, every test date, every quiz date, every date for everything. Your first week of classes should be just you filling out your agenda, honestly. Every single day you see, you need to write it inside of your agenda. I don't care how far along the way it is, you need to fill up your whole agenda all the way until the end of the semester. So that way, there's no worrying about forgetting. You just look at for the week, okay, what do I have to do this week? Or the whole entire month, some people have. 
Mine's is set up in months because I like to see the whole month what I need to do. Because if I do week by week, I might be working on projects too late. And I want to make sure I start everything at appropriate time. And so I like to see the whole month what I have to do. So your agenda is basically just going to be your tracker of everything to keep you on your toes and make sure you know everything that's going on, everything that you have to do. And then everything is more organized that way. You just can see everything better, your mind can register it better because thinking like oh i have three assignments due this week a paper a test it's a lot but when you see it in paper it's really not as bad as you think it is to ease some of the stress just write it down so you can see it and make it plain oh. go to class bruh you have to go to class you cannot make the dean's list if you do not go to class i mean maybe you can if you're like a really good slide studier but I promise you just going to class, hearing the information being said to you, like, cause even if you're just sitting in there, just chilling, at least you're hearing it. Some of that information, some of those facts are gonna stick to you. You're gonna be like, oh, I remember hearing that in class. There's gonna be questions that are gonna be on the test sometimes that teachers say just in class and not put on slides, but you gotta make sure you know that. So if you're not in class, you're not gonna know anything. I had a 8 a.m. class that was my first mistake that I thought I could go to it was a music class and I was like just the easy credit it'll be cool a class only had to take three tests for the whole class no quizzes no homework nothing just three tests were the only grades that were going in the grade book and they were online tests so that should just tell y'all something I'm about to look up every question every answer everything is about to be looked up because I'm not going to class at eight o'clock in the morning because Savion will still be sleeping. So the first test for the class comes around. I'm looking at the questions. I'm looking everything up. None of the answers are coming up, you guys. It was like 75 question tests. Maybe like 30 of the answers came up. 30 out of 75 is not gonna make the cut. Do you feel me? Do you hear me? So I'm like, yo, this is everything he said in class that I did not get because I was not there he literally said in class we spoke about in this class we spoke about in lecture number two in this class i'm like yo i didn't go to class in the arms of the angel. i got like a 60 on the test all i had to do was go to class i ended up doing really bad in the class because i didn't learn my lesson i still didn't want to get up in the morning so i got like a 60 on the first one a 75 on the next one i was like oh 75 i passed and then like a 70 on the last one so my average for the class was awful like i got like a d in the class i definitely did not do well in the class at all if i would have just went to class everything would have been great i would have retained a lot more information but um i was in bed so go to class you'll learn something pay attention in class Put your phone down and focus. I know in this this age of social media, this age of technology, we have to be on our phone 24 seven at all times because we don't want to miss anything. You can go an hour and some change, two hours without your phone, bro. If you're on your phone the whole time, not paying attention to anything, you don't want to be on the Dean's list. You're worried about who's liking your picture. That was that was honestly my problem too. Because when I got out of the slump of not going to class, when I actually showed up to class, then it was like, oh, I'm on my phone the whole time because, oh, this class is so boring. So what I did to fix this problem was put my phone down. I just set it down on his back. I can see when I get notifications and stuff, but I'm not checking it every, every two seconds. If it's not anything important, if it's not something like my mom texting me, my mom calling me, my brother, sister, something important, then I can't talk to you right now. I'm in class. And then as soon as you walk out that class, as soon as the teacher says, all right, well, I'm done for the day, right back on your phone. It's that easy. You don't have to cut your phone out completely. You can be on it, just not the whole class, not putting it down. But if, if you don't see something that's just like, I need to do this right now, then you need to pay attention. You need to focus. Because if you want to be on the Dean's List, then there's stuff that you need to do simple so i know that these classes feel like forever like i know that they literally feel like they're taking so long to start and then finish like if my class started at 12 i look up every five minutes and i promise you it's only 12.01 and then 12.02 and the minutes are going by so slow bruh i get bored really quickly it almost doesn't make me want to pay attention it doesn't want to make me learn so what i do is so i feel like the class is going by faster i take my classes 15 minutes at a time my classes are an hour and 15 minutes each 
So that's five sessions of 15. So as soon as class starts, I'm like, all right, bet, I only got 15 minutes left. Eight minutes go by, all right, bet, I only got seven minutes of class left. So I'm chilling really like seven minutes and I'm done. Five minutes go by, two minutes of class left, let's go. Once my 15 minutes over, I'm like, bet, 15 minutes over. Then I start my next 15 minutes, go through my 15 minutes, boom. When I have 15 minutes, that means I'm 30 minutes in class. So I'm about halfway done with class. I go fill up my water bottle, I walk out of class, fill it up. That's like my break. I'm like, all right, cool. Give me a little two minute break in between my 30 minutes. Now I go finish up this 45. Then 15 minutes at a time, 15 minutes at a time. When you in your last 15 minutes, you already done did four. You got a real 15 minutes left in class. So that's cake now. You know what I'm saying? It's just something to make your brain feel like you're not here all day and make your brain feel like this is not the most boring thing ever. Even though it seems like that, it's not. It's just an hour and 15 minutes. Just take it 15 minutes at a time. It'll be easy. It's a mind thing. You'll be straight. Next tip, take good notes that you can understand. Teachers are gonna have slides up, they're gonna have lectures, they're gonna have... Yo, I just watched a squirrel jump from the roof all the way to the tree and that had to have been the coolest thing I've ever seen because I've never seen a squirrel jump so far. I'm sorry. Teachers are gonna have slides, teachers are gonna have lectures and they're gonna put all the information on these slides and you have the opportunity to take notes, of course. There are people who are gonna have their laptops, they're gonna people, notebooks, pen, pencil. People are, are gonna take pictures with their phones. Everybody's note taking style is gonna be different. I like to do pen and paper because when I type my notes, I don't retain it as much. I feel like I feel like I have to actually write it, see myself make the words like so I can remember. And when I make my notes, I am not copying down everything that this teacher has on this slide. I might write down one, maybe two things from each slide that I feel like he's harping on the most, like he feels like it's most important to me or that we need to know. I'm not writing the exact sentence, like paraphrase it to make sure I get it. I'm not taking all day writing the notes because I know when we're writing notes, we're not listening to anything else he's saying. So everything has to be quick and then you gotta tune right back in. The thing is he's gonna, he or she is gonna post the slide somewhere else so that you can study. So just make sure you get something that's quick so you know the importance of it to know that when you go back to study, all right, we need to make sure we talk about this. We need to make sure we go over this. We need to make sure we look at this again because we don't quite understand this. Question marks next to things you don't quite understand. Star next to things that are super important. I know their teachers like, this is gonna be on the test. So make sure you remember this, star those, highlight that. But make it a key for you to understand, okay, this is the important things. These are the things I don't understand. Mark your notes like that so when it's time to study, everything is so much easier for you to do. Study. You have to study, you have to study, you have to study. These things that these teachers are teaching us, most of it, this is not something you just learned in fifth grade. These are new things that we have never learned before. So if you think you're gonna know it off the top of your head, you're not. Terms that we've never heard of, words that we've never seen, we don't know how to spell. You have to study the material that he or she is giving you. So my final tip for you guys would be to set your goal for yourself. Think about it every single day when you walk into class and go after it. You can't just say you want to be on the Dean's list and not put any work towards it and put any effort towards it. You can't say you want to be on the Dean's list and not studying and not going to class and on your phone the whole time in class and not trying to be on the Dean's list. Nobody can want it more than you. Your mom can want you to be on the Dean's list. Your dad can want you to be on the Dean's list, grandma, auntie, uncles. But if you don't want yourself to be on the Dean's list and your actions don't match your want for it, then you might as well just stop now. You might as well just end the video now because you will only be as great as you allow yourself to be. If you're not willing to work for it, it's not gonna be handed to you. If you're not willing to go after it, it's not gonna come to you. You have to make it a priority. If you know you got a test coming up, don't be out every night partying and stuff the week of the test. Make it a priority because you want it. Make it a priority because this is what you need. When I finally took a step back and realized I'm tired of not having good grades, I'm tired of my GPA not matching how smart I actually am, how intelligent I actually am, when I got fed up with that, I was like, there has to be a change made. I went from a 2.4, 2.4. To this past semester, I got a 3.7. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's work. So it's really just how bad you want it. So those are my tips and my advice on how to make the dance list. I hope I helped because there were a lot of people asking me since my previous video how I did it, how all that happened. With God and a little bit of studying. 
anything can happen, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Comment down below what colleges you go to because that will be lit. I wanna know what colleges y'all go to. Also comment down below any other tips that might help somebody because I might have not went over something that helped you get better academically that could help somebody else and I'm all for helping people. So help if you can. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. It will be in the description box below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.